हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम फहद इकबाल एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल कॉम्पिटेटिव फिजिक्स अगेन आई एम हेयर विद अ न्यू जर्नी दिस टाइम वी विल गो टू मार्स सो लेट्स नाउ स्टार्ट आवर जर्नी टू एक्सप्लोर द रेड प्लैनेट द फोर्थ प्लैनेट फ्रॉम द सन मार्स व्हिच अपीयर्स एज अ रेड डॉट इन द नाइट स्काई इज डस्टी कोल्ड डेजर्ट वर्ल्ड विद अ वेरी थिन एटमॉस्फेयर नेम्ड आफ्टर द रोमन गॉड ऑफ वॉर मार्स इज द सेकंड नियरेस्ट प्लैनेट टू अस दिस रेड प्लैनेट caught the attention of ancient humans because of its color and the way it moved in the sky even today it arouses the interest of modern man for a different reason mars is a rich destination for scientific discovery and robotic and human exploration as humans expand their presence into the solar system its formation and evolution are comparable to earth helping scientists learn more about our own planet's history and future Mars had conditions suitable for life in its past. Future exploration could uncover evidence of life answering one of the fundamental mysteries of the cosmos. Does life exist beyond Earth? Now, let's gather some information about Mars. Like Earth, Mars is a large spherical body that revolves around the sun. It is also a terrestrial planet, which means that it has a solid surface like Earth. Compared to this, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune does not have solid surface at all. Mars has a diameter which is a little more than half that of the Earth and planet Mars has a mass which is 1/10 of the Earth's mass. Its smaller mass and diameter result in lower surface gravity. Thus, if you weigh 100 kg on Earth, you will weigh only 38 kg on Mars. Isn't it surprising? Mars is known as the red planet because iron minerals in the Martian soil oxidize or rust causing the soil and atmosphere to look red. The orbit of Mars lies outside the orbit of Earth around the sun and the orbit of Mars is more oval shaped compared to Earth's orbit. The average distance of Mars from the sun is about 230 million km compared to ours which is 150 million km. Mars comes very near to Earth than any other planet except Venus. When Earth and Mars are very near to each other, they are still separated by a distance of 56 million km. One year on Mars is 687 days as the red planet takes that much time to revolve around the sun once. The Earth does the same in 365 days, isn't it? Surprisingly, one day on Mars is a little more than a day on Earth. If you want the exact value then it is 24 hours 37 minutes and the tilt of the axis of Mars is about 25 degree which is very near to the Earth's tilt of 23.5 degree like Earth Mars has distinct seasons but they last longer than seasons here on Earth since Mars takes longer to orbit the sun because it's further away and while here on Earth the seasons are evenly spread over the year lasting 3 months or 1 quarter of a year on mars the seasons vary in length because of mars elliptical egg shaped orbit around the sun spring in the northern hemisphere is the longest season at 194 sols you must know sol is the name given to a martian day autumn in the northern hemisphere is the shortest at 142 days northern winter or southern summer is 154 sols and northern summer or southern winter is 178 sols The red planet is home to both the highest mountain and the deepest longest valley in the solar system. Olympus Mons is roughly 17 miles high, about 3 times as tall as Mount Everest. While the Valles Marineris system of valleys named after the Mariner 9 pro that discovered it in 1971 reaches as deep as 6 miles and runs east to west for roughly 2500 miles about 1/5 of the distance around Mars and close to the width of Australia. Mars also has the largest volcanoes in the solar system. Olympus Mons being one of them. The massive volcano which is about 370 miles in diameter is wide enough to cover the state of New Mexico. Mars also has many other kinds of volcanic landforms from small steep sided cones to enormous plains coated in hardened lava. Some minor eruptions might still occur on the planet. The atmosphere of Mars mostly contains the carbon dioxide which we cannot breathe. The temperatures on Mars can be as high as 30 degrees Celsius or as low as about minus 140 degrees Celsius. 
Besides, Martian atmosphere is extremely thin with the surface pressure being about 100 times less than that on Earth. Since Mars does not have ozone layer, harmful ultraviolet rays from the Sun reach the surface of Mars without any hindrance. So, we cannot survive on Mars without wearing a protective space suit and oxygen supply system. The dust storms on Mars are the largest in the solar system, capable of blanketing the entire red planet and lasting for months. One theory as to why dust storms can grow so big on Mars is because the airborne dust particles absorb sunlight warming the Martian atmosphere in their vicinity. Warm pockets of air then flow toward colder regions generating winds. Strong winds lift more dust off the ground which in turn heats the atmosphere raising more wind and kicking up more dust. One striking similarity between Earth and Mars is related to water. Mars has water on it, but it is there in the form of ice or snow and water vapor. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, that may be captured asteroids. They are potato shaped because they have too little mass for gravity to make them spherical. These moons were discovered by American astronomer S.F. Hall over the course of a week in 1877. He named the moon after the horses that pulled the chariot of the Greek god of war, Ares. Phobos means fear while Deimos means rout. Now, let's take a look at the Mars before the space age. The great civilizations of the ancient world including Sumerian, Egyptian, Indus Valley, Chinese, Vedic, Greek and Roman civilizations had observed Mars. They saw it as a bright yellowish orange dot in the night sky moving slowly against the background of fixed and twinkling stars. They named that heavenly body after their gods. Since its color reminded them of Bullard, the ancient Romans named that wandering dots of light after Mars, their god of war. The Egyptians named it Herdishir, meaning the red one, while ancient Chinese astronomers dubbed it the fire star. In ancient India, Mars was called Mangala and to this day the same name is retained by many Indian languages. Mars was also known as Angaraka and was referred to as the son of the earth in ancient Indian texts. The famous science fiction writer H.G. Wells wrote about the invasion of earth by Martians in his book War of the Worlds published in 1898. When a dramatized version of that novel was broadcast in 1938 over radio in America, many believed it and ran out of their houses in panic. It was time for getting a proper picture of the situation on Mars. The dawn of the space age in 1957 made it possible. So are you ready to explore the Mars in the space age? On October 4, 1957, a huge rocket rose from Kazakhstan in the Soviet Union. A few minutes later, the rocket traveled beyond the Earth's atmosphere and provided sufficient speed to a 4 kg metal sphere sitting on top of it, which was named Sputnik 1. With this, the Sputnik 1 started circling the Earth on its own and became the first artificial satellite of the Earth. The space age was born. Since the dawn of the space age, Mars has been the target of orbiters, landers and rovers. More than 40 missions have attempted to reach the red planet with varying degrees of success. The first spacecraft to successfully explore Mars was the American Mariner 4. It flew near Mars in 1965 and sent black and white pictures in which the surface of Mars was uninteresting and showed many craters. In 1971, a Soviet spacecraft safely landed on Mars, but after communicating with Earth by radio for about 15 seconds, suddenly became silent. The mystery of Mars got further deepened. Mariner 9, launched on 30th May 1971, was the first spacecraft to orbit another planet. It was planned as part of a two spacecraft mission, but Mariner 8 was lost during launch. The 560 kg spacecraft circled Mars twice each day for a full year, photographing the surface and analyzing the atmosphere with infrared and ultraviolet instruments. The spacecraft gathered data on the atmospheric composition, density, pressure and temperature as well as the surface composition and topography of Mars. When Mariner 9 first arrived, Mars was almost totally obscured by dust storms, which persisted for more than a month. After dust cleared, it revealed for the first time a number of gigantic volcanoes and huge canyon system stretching 4800 km across its surface. More surprisingly, ancient riverbeds were carved in the landscape of the seemingly dry and dusty planet. Mariner 9 photo mapped the planet's entire surface. It also took the first close-up picture of the tiny Martian moons Deimos and Phobos. 
in 1976 two american viking spacecraft went to mars and started orbiting it later each successfully sent a lander to the surface of mars in the pictures sent by viking landers the surface of mars resembled the desert of the earth but neither vegetation nor even small forms of life were visible Mars generated worldwide excitement in 1996. Strangely, the reason was not a robotic spacecraft but a meteorite called ALH84001. NASA scientists who studied that meteorite opined that it had come from Mars and there was enough proof for that. But what was more exciting was their view that the material inside that piece of space rock appeared to strongly suggest that it contained fossils of Martian microorganisms. But many scientists have not accepted this view. In the 1990s, NASA successfully sent a robotic spacecraft called Mars Global Surveyor into an orbit around Mars. But Mars Pathfinder, a small NASA spacecraft, became more famous because it landed a microwave oven-sized rover called Sojourner on the surface of Mars. Between 2001 and 2012, many spacecraft have traveled to Mars. Some of them are orbiting while most others have landed rovers on the Martian surface. Spirit and Opportunity the two rovers that reached the surface of Mars in 2004 have provided valuable information about Mars more recently Curiosity the NASA rover which landed on Mars in August 2012 has triggered a worldwide interest in Mars carrying a large array of scientific instruments it is exploring Mars in a systematic way on September 22 2014 NASA's Maven spacecraft entered into an orbit around Mars Two days later, India's very first attempt to make a spacecraft to go around Mars became a total success when its Mars orbiter spacecraft began circling the red planet in the planned orbit. NASA's InSight lander, launched on 5th May 2018, is designed to probe Mars interior with two instruments: a seismometer and heat flow probe. The heat flow probe will penetrate the Martian surface to a depth of 5 meter to monitor the planet's temperature. The seismometer will listen for Mars quakes and use that information to map the boundaries between the rock layers inside the planet. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says travel to Mars is within reach with the possibility of having 1 million people living on Mars within 100 years. It will be really historic when humans first walk on the Mars surface. But there are quite a few unmanned Mars mission launches scheduled for summer 2020. Let us have a look on some of these missions. Hope Mars Mission 2020. Hope is a notable mission for one big reason. It marks the first Mars probe launched by any Arab or Muslim country, announced by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates. Hope aims to discover why the planet has lost its atmosphere. The UAE is currently targeting a July or August 2020 launch to arrive at Mars in 2021, around the time of the UAE's 50th anniversary. Perseverance Rover 2020. This upcoming NASA mission aims to study martial astrobiology in an attempt to understand what environmental conditions may have been like on Mars in the past via Martian sample return. This launch is scheduled on 30th July 2020. ExoMars 2020. This mission will deliver a European rover and a Russian surface platform to the surface of Mars. ESA's six-wheeled ExoMars rover is solar powered. It will use a panoramic camera close up camera and drill for rock samples and infrared spectrometer will characterize the mineralogy in the borehole the rover will use ground penetrating radar to characterize the subsurface and search for water the rover is expected to travel several kilometers during its mission it is scheduled to launch in the spring of 2022 i hope you learned a lot through this journey please like and share my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification for new videos thank you for watching competitive physics